Declare, decree, and declare that this service is a service that will change me forever in the name of Jesus. This is not service as usual. This is a service that's different in the name of Jesus. The song we sing is the song he wants to hear in the name of Jesus. The world will come at the point of our needs today in the name of Jesus. Libaro Shatabara, Lake Elebo, Setabara, Handelebo, Shataba. Lord, we give you praise. Legado, Setaba, Handelebo, Shah. Lord, we give you glory. Legado, Seta, Legado, Shataba, Handelebo, Shah. Your worthy Lord, your worthy Lord, your worthy Lord, your worthy Lord, your worthy Lord. Legado, Paya Telebo, Shata, Lake Ella Telebo, Sene Hendelebo, Shata, Rike Pala. Now begin to pray in tongues to fill up your spirit. Tell up your atmosphere and get your hearts ready for what's happening in this service. You have a prayer language, switch to tongues right now. Declare your hearts and fast our ground to receive the Lord this evening. In the name of Jesus. Set up your hand in that side and put your heart on the Lord this evening. Opportunity to pray. Lord God, go to the week without praying. Pray in tongues this evening. Liga da bo seta, Rabba ya tala bo sha. Liga da bo seta ba sha te. Riba la tala ba sha ne 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 bo sha te bo sha ta. Rike ne bo sha ta ba ha ne 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 bo. Rike ne bo so ta ba da ha ne ne bo sha ta. Rike ne bo sa wa ha ta. Pass our grounds this evening to receive from you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Liga da bo seta. Destruction in the atmosphere in the name of Jesus. Liga da bo sata, rapa da bo sheta ba da hande da bo se. We kill da bo sota ba. Our hearts are receptive this evening. Our minds are receptive this evening. We have the spirit of understanding upon us this evening in the name of Jesus. Liga da bo sata, rapa da kill da bo sheta ba da hande da bo sata. We kill da bo sota ba hande da bo sata. We bless him da da bo sit da hande da bo. I need to put your expression on this page this evening. Put your expression on this page this evening. Ligabo, Satabara Hanebo, say, Rekelebo, Sotaba Hanebo, Shatelebo, say, Lekele Kedaba Satayabo, Randalaba Satanebo, shall the Lord use doing mighty things into this service. I don't want to be left out from this service in the name of Jesus. Ligelebo, Rapala Telebo, Shatelebo, say, Rebla Hanadaba Shatayaba, Sandalebo, set, Rebla Hanadaba Shatayaba, Satelebo. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. We thank you for what you're doing already in today's service. We thank you for the things you're doing. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. 
Land in the bow, shut up a hand in the bow, say, wrap a lot in the bow, say a bow, shut up, rebel a hand in the bow, say, Lord, we say, thank you, Liga Ba, shut up, thank you, Liga the bow, shut up a hand in the bow, shut up, for lives have been changed, they for destinies have been retracted, Liga the bow, shut up a row, say, lay a lot here by the hand of the bow, say, rule up a hand of the rabba, sit up a hand of the bow, shut up, lick up a lava, shut up a bow, shut he can't pour up your hand in the boss. Rata Paya Talebo Shataba Ramba la Kana la boss. Satele de boss. Lake the boss. Satayaba Hana de boss. Satele de boss. Shetta. Rika Paya de boss. Satayabo Shata. Ligue de boss. Sataba Hana de boss. Setaba. Now we give you praise. Ligue de boss. Setaba Hana de boss. Rata Patele de boss. Sataba Hana de boss. Lika Patala boss. Sataba Hana de boss. Lige la ba sata la bo sata Lige la do sata ba ro sata ba Thank you Jesus Lige ha da bo sata Thank you Lord Lige bo sata ba hana de bo sata Rible hende de de bo sata ba hana de bo sata ba Reke la de bo sata ba Thank you Jesus Lige do sata ba hana de bo sata Lord we give you glory Lord, we give you praise. Lige de bo, setaba handa da bo, shataba. Reke lege bo, setaba handa da bo, shataba handa da bo, se. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, church. Come on, just lift up those hands and worship God. Lord, we bless you because you alone are God. You are deserving of our praise. We worship you, Jesus. Eshukala doushka. Come on, just speak in other tongues. Shabala doushka pala. We give you praise, oh God. We give you praise. No other God can be called the Father. No other God can be called the friend. No other God can be called Redeemer. No other God's coming back again. Say how we love your name, Jesus, you are the beautiful one. Lord, we love your name. We've searched and we say how we love your name, Jesus, you are the beautiful
And what a powerful name it is. It's the name of Jesus Christ, and he's my king. Oh, what a powerful name it is. Lord, nothing can pass to this. What a powerful name it is. The name of Jesus. What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name.
were brought forth before the foundations of the earth were laid you are king you are enthroned I want you to worship him from the depth of your heart father we worship you you remain the same forever 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 you will remain the same forever you will remain the same forever you will remain the same nobody else has that testimony forever you will remain the same forever you will remain the same forever you will remain the same forever and ever you remain remain the same never changing yet changing everything around you changing everything around us you will remain the same forever forever thank you forever you will be the lamb upon the throne I gladly bow my knees to worship you my God thank you father forever you will be upon the throne I gladly bow my knees to worship you my God forever you will be forever you
bow, my gladly bow my knee. We worship you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Take your seats. Welcome to Times and Seasons today. Can we celebrate the ministry of worship? I mean, I mean, how, how do you do worship and be called worship? It's amazing. One more time, celebrate worship. That's such a voice and a gift to us. Amen. So much untapped potential there. Uh, the tapping begins now, amen. amen. Okay, I brought you out to serve you the communion. I don't know where we're being watched from. And, uh, everywhere. Okay. Um... We, we, we are going to um, do something slightly different today. I'd like to welcome you. Uh, everybody here, everybody online, Facebook, Mixlr, Zoom. And uh, if you really intend to participate in the service today, then even if you're at home, you should please uh, put together tokens for the communion which is um, a drink for the blood of Jesus and um, bread for the body of Jesus it will be great if you could put all of that together as we go into the word of God amen this is a special part of the times and seasons today because we're going to be having a prophetic and a communion service next Wednesday. We'll be back on the times and seasons today with uh, prophetic panels and with, you know, a lot of uh, exegeting the word of God and listening to prophetic counsel. Today we want to serve the communion together. Amen. So I welcome you one more time. And uh, uh, there's two scriptures we're going to read. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And when we're done, uh, we'll begin to push on from there. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you just pray in the spirit where you are for the next couple of seconds? I want you to pray your expectation in tongues. I want you to release your expectation in tongues. It will be a crime to serve a God as big as ours and come to his house without expectation. That will be plain church. It will be a crime. Balado de Balado Sabra de Deboko Shabala Bala Baro Bere Besubra de Deboko Shabadi Bia Baroko de Bishabra Halakaro Corebeto Zabagada Boko de Bia Shambra de Boko Sabadi in Tevala to Shabaket Shotra Bidi Kotobokana Boko de Beko Sabrandus Zala da Boko de Bekala Boko Resan. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We didn't answer. I said, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Yeah. Now, we're going to take the communion, the blood and the body of Jesus together very shortly. But before we do it, I want us to have understanding of what the body of Christ needs 
is the application of knowledge understood. That's what wisdom is. Wisdom is applying knowledge that, that's understood. That's why we talk about knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Because no, wisdom is really about taking knowledge that's understood and applying it. So wisdom is the combination of knowledge and understanding. Amen. Amen. And today we're going to receive understanding so we can walk in knowledge and walk in wisdom in the name of Jesus. Okay. Um, Genesis chapter 21. We're going to be reading two long passages of scripture. And when we're done reading, we'll take the communion. It's, it's really that simple. And we'll see what the Lord would do. Um, are you guys able to give us a passage? Okay. Go ahead. Oh yeah, from verse 1. Genesis 21, verse 1. We're going to be reading quite a bit from verse 1 up till 20. One, So it's quite some reading. Okay? This is the story of Abraham, Father Abraham, and Mother Sarah. Yeah. Genesis 21. And this is the day when God fulfilled his promise. In verse 1, it says, The Lord visited Sarah as he had said, did unto Sarah as he had spoken. What did he say? What did he speak? Bible students. I have a song. Okay, verse 2. I'll need some speed. But Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. So Isaac wasn't just born. They calculated and discovered that um, he wasn't just a child born to old parents. He was a child born on time. Because they dated nine months back to when God spoke um, through three strangers that came into the territory and said, according to the time of life, this time, nine months you'll have a child. And so Isaac was, was on time. Verse 4. Okay, verse 3, his name was Isaac. Go back to verse 3. And, they, and Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah had bared to him, Isaac. The reason why these two things are important before naming him Isaac, stay there. I'll move you when it's time to move. Is because, stay in verse 3. Yeah, and wait for my instructions. The reason why it's important to say that Isaac was born to Abraham and Isaac was born from Sarah is because there's another child that was born to Abraham that was not born by Sarah. So Isaac called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. I see what the Bible is doing. Verse 4. And Abraham circumcised his son, Isaac, being eight days old, as God commanded in verse 5. Abraham was 100 years old when Isaac was born. 6. Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. In the name of Jesus, those who laughed at you in older seasons... Now, they will laugh with you. Amen. They will laugh with you. Amen. They will have no choice. They will laugh with you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say it. Say it to yourself. Those who laughed at me will laugh with me. Say it two more times. Those who laughed at me 
they will laugh with me. They will have no choice than to laugh with me in the name of Jesus. And she said, who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah would have given children suck for I have born him a son in his old age. And the child grew, was weaned. Abraham made a great feast the same day that Isaac was weaned. This story is important. Follow it carefully. Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, Cast out this bond woman and her son, for the son of the bond woman shall not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. So, it means that it means that the name Isaac was a response to the mocking of Hagar. Because earlier on she said, everyone who hears this new gist, they will laugh with me. Which means she had a condition that made people hear her gist and laugh at her. And if you know anybody in that family that that laugh at me speaks directly to it is Hagar because one verse after she named Isaac the son of the bond woman was found mocking at Isaac and she said I can't take this anymore anybody who will not laugh with me must now go what I had in mind all the while I couldn't do because the only laughter permitted here is the one that is with me the the child of the born woman was go. I have one more prophetic word for you. Uh, those who refuse to laugh with you, Amen. your day of joy, God will judge them. Amen. Uh, wait, I'll pray it for you again. You people are, you are too happy with where you are. And you think it's everybody who said congrats that likes you. That's why you didn't pray that prayer. Well, I pray for you in the name of Jesus, wherever you're listening to the sound of my voice. Those who are grieved by your testimony of joy, God will judge them. In the name of Jesus. The best person to judge people is God. That's God. Let God do it. And, And it was very grievous in Abraham's sight, you know. Because he had feelings for Ishmael. Because Ishmael shared his gene. Sarah didn't. So when she looked at the eyes of Ishmael, she didn't see maternity. She didn't see connection. But every time Abraham looked at Ishmael, he truly saw himself. Because that was his child. So he was not happy with Sarah. Why would you say such a thing? These two children are mine. Verse 12. And then God showed up to Abraham and said, Don't be grieved because of the child. Don't be grieved because of the bond woman. Everything that Sarah says has my backing. Hacking unto her voice. Because indeed, it is Isaac. It is in Isaac that all your seed will be called. So, Sarah declared judgment and God said, present ma. I will execute. And if Abraham stands in the way of what you just said, I will talk to him too. He is my friend. In the name of Jesus. Whatever contends with the judgment of God against those who hate your peace, your joy, and your laughter, God will judge. Those who hate the progress of Nigeria, God will judge. Those who hate the progress of your family, God will judge. In the name of Jesus. I mean, one week ago, we gathered like this. We said, Lord, there's not been rain now. 
It's not been brain. So let's lift our hands. We lifted up our hands. We prayed. If we have any problem between then and now, this service has been affected by rain. It's rain. So, and somebody wrote on our group, he said, if God answered that one so vividly, it means every other prayer we prayed Wednesday reached heaven. I said, it's true. Well, Friday, beg your pardon. Friday, God to God. So, um, those who make themselves the problem, they just decided that the bond woman and her child will remain with you. God will judge them. Amen. Verse 13, and also for of, of the son of the bond woman, I make a nation because he is thy seed. So God is saying, don't worry about your connection with this child. Because of you, I will still bless this child. But the fact that I will bless him is not enough reason to keep him in the house. Sarah's word stands. As much as you are my friend, and I will bless this child before you, the judgment of Sarah in this house is final over this child. Abraham rose up early in the morning, took bread and bottle of water, gave it unto Hagar, putting it on her shoulder and the child, and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Let me give you an undertone. I believe, it's just personal. It's not written in scripture. But I believe that what Abraham did to this child and the mother was he skillfully organized for them to die. Because he sent them into a wilderness. No horse, no chariot, no mule, no, mule, no camel. No beast of burden. A woman and a child. You know how difficult it is for a woman and a child to move around town? When she doesn't have a car, doesn't have a... What do you call that thing? Huh? Yeah, what she used to move kids. Okay. She don't have any of those. And you put the baby in her hand... And you ask her to go into the desert. And all you give her is a bottle of water. Which means you have programmed that it's only a matter of time. Baby dies first. The mother dies later. And the pain and the anxiety, the depression from the death of baby will kill mother faster than thirst will. Because she will see her baby die. She will bury her baby. And the pain, the emotional trauma will kill her. So for her, it will be both thirst, hunger, and trauma. And of course, like me and you are assuming, in verse 15, the baby, the water was spent in the bottle. In no time. The water was spent because they were in the desert. Stay there. I haven't finished. And she cast the child under one of the shrubs. So she found a shrub, put the child in the shade, and then she moved away a good way off from the baby. And then she, she sat. And the reason she did that is because she didn't want to see the death of the child. Because now the baby was nearing death. And she knew that if she sees the death of this child, like they programmed for her from home, she will die quicker. So she thought, the baby will die, let him die. I will not see the death of the child. And she moved away and she began to do what? Look at it now, it's on your screen. She began to cry. She lifted up her voice and began to weep. The only water available was one that came from her eyes. And she cried. And the Bible says, God heard the voice of the lad. And the angel called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What Eliad thee, Hagar, fear not, for God hath heard the voice of the lad where he is. Stop there. This meeting is the communion service part of entering new seasons. Yes. 
So I want you to receive this blood and body of Jesus with a particular understanding. Now, hear me, hear me good. There are certain things that happen in life that you don't have to beg for. There are other things that will only happen if you go after them. In fact, I like to put it this way. What you need will come to you. What you want, you have to go after it. We will not need to pray until this anomaly came where there wasn't rain in August and we had to pray. We didn't Older years, we didn't need to pray. When it's August, we call it August, August rain. Rain will fall. Things within that level of weather and climate will happen without, usually will happen without our contribution. We are only required to talk to it when it begins to malfunction. No be so. Yes. But there are other things in verse 17 that we're reading. That after she dropped the lad under a shrub, and ran, moved away about, a, you know, a bow shot away from the child. And began to cry. The baby was sick and dying of thirst. Couldn't say nothing. Was already waiting to die. She was a bow shot away. And she was crying. But the scripture says that in heaven... It was the voice of the one that didn't talk that was heard. See it. Go back to 16. And she went, sat down over against him, a good way off, as it were a bow shot. And she said, let me not see the death of this child. It will be double misery. And she sat over against him that she made sure that the position she was was backing him. And she lifted up her voice and wept. What happened in 17? And God heard the voice of Hagar. <laughs> and the angel of the Lord called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What, what alien thee? Don't be afraid. God has heard the voice of the lad where he is. The real question is, who was crying? Who was God listening to? Angel, wait. You're getting something wrong. Verse 18. Arise, lift up the lad, hold him in thine hand, for I will make him a great nation. So, you know what's happening here? The angel is scolding Hagar for having left the child at all. Are you still there? Yes, sir. And saying, stop crying about water and about the death of the child. This child is so precious to us. Go back and hold the child. If you want to leave, eh? you cannot leave the sight of that. That's where angels are. They are not where you are crying. The angels are under the shrub. You cannot be anywhere else but where covenant is talking and expect to survive. The person that will die between you and the child is you. You will die first before that child. The matter now is not water. It's to learn to care for what I am caring for. This is the seed of Abraham. And I told Abraham that I will, make, I will bless him and make him a nation. Are you still there? So if you truly want to leave yourself, the child is not... The child is not at risk. You are wrong. This child's lifespan is longer than yours. If anybody should die, it would be you. You left the presence of the Lord and you are crying for water. Go back there. Ah! The moment she held that, heard that, she arose. Of course, it's not written, but she arose. She went back to the child, lifted up the child, held him in her hands, believing in that promise because that voice didn't come from an angel that was standing beside her. The Bible says the angel spoke from heaven. You know the difference between an angel talking to you and an angel talking to you from heaven? 
There's a difference, though. Yes. If an angel is talking to you, huh, the best you will hear is a voice, maybe audibly in your ear. But if an angel speaks from heaven, you will be seeing weather and climate changing like these spotlights while he's talking. As he's talking, the atmosphere will be shifting. Are you still there? Because the Bible says this voice was not from an, a one-on-one encounter. It was from heaven. So heaven was animating the voice. This voice was loud. In fear, she went to hold the child. The Bible says, in verse 19, go on. The Bible says, as soon as she arose, went to the child, did what the angel said. Suddenly, her eyes were opened. Then she saw a well of water. And she went to it, filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad to drink. Do you see what has happened? She left the lad to die, only logical. Because she had not learned the power of covenant. She was an Egyptian woman. Israelites were the covenant people. And she walked away trying to be a good mother and was crying for what is about to happen. The angel said, no. In covenant settings, you are more at risk being there. The person holding you up in this desert is that child. Every time you move away from that child, you risk being dead. No matter how hungry you both are, keep that child in your arm. There is something on his life that will preserve you. Because we're not even hearing your voice. You're out of range. We are only hearing... Oh my God. We are only hearing the voice of the one who is not talking. Because although his mouth is short, his DNA is speaking. He shares blood with the one I have promised. I will make a great nation. It doesn't matter how weak you are. If you stay conscious of the covenant, you can't die. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how beat down you get, and your back is against the wall, nothing is working. If somebody can teach you covenant consciousness, I'm telling you, there's nothing that is not that's that in the spirit that is not risked by weakness. You don't move from if you're a covenant person, you don't die because you were weak, you only die because your time is up. Are you still there? Yeah. Ah. She learned, this child has something I don't have. I'm his mother. But that's why you will be wrong to ask Mary to pray for you to Jesus. <laughs> because Mary is the mother. You're a joker. <laughs> because the circumference of power where Jesus is, eh? <laughs> if she moves away from me, she's dead as well. Are you still there? It is the connection between Jesus and his father that releases power. Not the relationship between his mother and him. And Isaac is the type of the Christ. The wonder, move back. You want to leave? You don't, you don't live here. This is, this is dying place. Live here. Angels are there. They are making provision. But you cannot see it until you move back there. Ah, she lifted him up. The Bible says, God opened her eyes. Are you still there? Yes, ah, lay closer. The covenant place where God has designed your allocation to become visible. In the name of Jesus, I ask that the angels of the presence of the Lord begin to lead you there. Yeah. Begin to lead you there. Yeah. Begin to lead you there. So, what was talking in Ishmael? Blood. It's blood. It's blood. The Bible says God was with the lad. He grew, dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. 21. That's where we'll stop. This story is rich. And he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran and his mother took him a wife out of the land of what? Don't forget, the mother, Hagar, is an Egyptian. She had this son for a Hebrew. But when she was going to take a wife for Ishmael, she connected him back to where? To Egypt. The moment she did this, God now had 
heritage in Egypt. Oh my God. This is communion service, bro. In one generation, he brought his people out of Egypt. He removed his heritage from Egypt. So he was no longer with any Egyptian person. God had come out. The presence of God was no longer in Egyptian space. In one generation to come. But in this generation, the generation of Hagar and Ishmael, he put a, a he put one foot in Egypt. This is the explanation to the reason why God told Abraham that there will be famine throughout the world. Your seed will go to Egypt. It's heritage. They will go to Egypt because of your decisions. And they will be there for 430 years. Then I will bring them out again with great substance because of Ishmael and Isaac. No wonder when... Hmm. When Israel became too hot, Jesus was born. And they asked that all children below the age of two be killed. Where did the angel say they should take the child to? Because there is covenant. Although Egypt is Babylon, God has covenant seed in Egypt. So he will send his seed. He will bring one generation out. Then you send another one inside. Then bring them out. That back and forth. Is the is along the boundaries of covenant. Are you there? There was somewhere I wanted to go with this thought, but it's not for today. Mm. Somewhere I was going. N- n- let me touch it. Can I touch it? Okay, let me touch it. I won't do a lot, but let me just touch it. Just, just touch the tip. It's communion self, my God. Do you know half of the reason why you cannot displace ISIS, Boko Haram, and any terrorist group that comes from the Middle East by just prayer. We have prayed for 10 years. We've not expelled them from the world. You know why? They are of the seed of Ishmael. God has covenant with them to make them a great nation. Prayer is not the only way. Prayer alone cannot dispel people. God cut covenant with, although they are of Egypt. I won't touch it. That's why we can. We are praying. Have we been praying? You can't pray more than Nigerians. Yet, we are in the middle. If you trace their lineage, you will discover this dangerous boy who was left to die by his father. Even the father didn't know that his covenant with God was that strong. That's why he gave them one bottle of water and bread. So as you are going, the baby dies. After the baby dies, the mother dies. And that generation, my mistakes are gone forever. He didn't know that if you make a covenant mistake, you live with it forever. You have immortalized your mistake when there's covenant inside. Just thought they will just die now and we'll forget. Sarah will be happy. I will be happy. We can face front with God. Even he, father of faith, couldn't take them out. The generation of Abraham must learn about the generation of Ishmael. We must learn. We are of Abraham, are we? Uh, The the things about Ishmael we don't know. (laughs) Uh, I said I'll touch it a little, but let's go on to other things. But this is the point today. If the blood of the one who was silent and dying was invoking heaven so much that an Egyptian woman was getting blessings from God. She was his social security system. She was getting blessings from God because she had in her house an Egyptian boy that was of Hebrew blood. How much more will the blood of Jesus do for you and me in the day of weakness, in the day of error, in the day of lack, in very slow days, how much more would the voice of the blood of Jesus do? Guys, get ready. We're about to hit a dangerous economic recession. That's why I'm serving you this thing. It will blow your mind where it will come from. So, how mu- 
much more would the blood of Jesus do in, in a wilderness experience? The whole world is being led back into the wilderness now. And we need covenant people who know the power of the blood and the body to invoke it so that that blood begins to speak again. That blood begins to speak again. The Bible says that the moment she lifted up the child, what happened? She saw a well of water. Is that true? She saw it. Ah. Go back to the thought I gave you. I said there are certain things that will come to you without your contribution. There are other things. There's another level of things. They are there, but they are not yours. Cannot be seen, not visible, cannot be heard, cannot be touched until blood speaks. The Bible did not say God created a fountain for her. The Bible says God opened her eyes and she saw what? A well. You don't understand. The well was there all the while. But it is, was not within the realm of logic and reasoning. It was only accessible to people who have connection with, with covenant. So when she carried a covenant boy and lifted him up to heaven, a well that was not in this space was now visible. And I hope you know that this woman had walked around. Huh? Because she left the child and moved away. Apparently, she may have been sitting on that well when she moved away. But the well doesn't open to you because you are on it. The well opens to you because you are with covenant. Because the Bible says when she saw it, she had to drop the child and go back. Oh my God. Okay, let me say really calmly on. You people don't understand this thing. But I have word for some people, not everybody. Some of you under the sound of my voice. You are sitting on your miracle already. The only thing that is left, and you know it, you know that this is your this, this is the path God designed for you, but it's not breaking out yet. Uh, I came to bring you the final ingredient that causes things that are yours to now be clear. Yes, anybody who connects with this blood, the heavens begin to show you things. In the name of Jesus. So the prayer point is simple. As they bring, come ministers, as they bring this blood and body of Jesus to you, you know what you're going to begin to ask for? Look at me. Look at me wherever you are. Ask for light. Because the Bible says, her eyes were and she saw a well of water. God had been talking to us for three weeks in times and seasons today about digging wells. Huh? There are some wells that are not dug by stave. Some of them are dug into the earth when blood goes up to heaven. Because the Bible says they were singing to the well and the well was bringing out water. Princes at the command of the lawgiver with their scepters in their hand. They held their scepter, stood around the covenant position. And the more they sang to it, the more the well was bringing out water. There is a connection between covenant protocol, activity, speaking, and then the earth yielding. There's a connection. There's a connection. And I want you to receive this blessing today. Go ahead. Give it to the people. You're going to ask God, Lord... Lord, open my eyes. Wherever you're listening, wherever you're listening, pray this prayer. Pray it real good. Pray it real good. That I will see as I connect with covenant again Jesus said we should do it often 
and we should remember him the perfect Isaac we should remember him he's the one that provides a way in the wilderness rivers in the desert he's the one that causes empty places to yield water again as you take that thing in your hand and you begin to pray God is getting ready to open your eyes to be in covenant area with your eyes shut with your eyes shut it's painful but now the Lord says your eyes are open your eyes are open your eyes are open your eyes are open son of heaven come your eyes are open your ears are open your mouth is open in the name of jesus in the name of jesus look at me don't pray now look at me don't pray don't pray look at me look at me i'm saying there are certain things that don't respond to tears there are certain things that don't respond to prayer that's what i have said in codes they only respond to what covenant blood the day you hear that the national body of christians in nigeria are coming together not for prayer and fasting but for a corporate communion service that's the last day you hear boko haram it is blood that installed them it's only blood that can take them out it's blood for blood. It's blood. She cried. She cried. She cried. She was not a prostitute. She didn't sleep illegitimately with Abraham. No! She did nothing wrong. In fact, it's the same Sarah who said, take this woman. What did she do? He said, take her. And he didn't want to. But eventually... Then they said chase her. He didn't want to again. He eventually, she had no crime under God. Yeah. An Egyptian that has spent all her life with a Hebrew is a Hebrew. Because she must be worshipping the God of the Hebrews. Oh, yeah. To live in a Hebrew house and be a servant to Abraham. Whom God said, I know this guy. He will lead all his children according to my ways. God was proud of him. He led everybody. All his servants. Before you say she's an evil woman, did nothing. Ishmael was not illegitimate. You are not wrong. You just haven't come into the dimension, this dimension of God. And Jesus warned us that although my blood is shed once, the communion must be taken often. Another day I'll teach you why. I call it the protocol of sealed things. See, look at me, look at me, look at me. I don't want you to just, I don't want you to just pray. You're praying people. I believe in your prayer. But I want blood to enter you. I want what Jesus did to be reamplified. That's how your eyes are open. Yes. Certain seasons only respond to blood. They don't come like night and day. They don't come like summer and winter. No! If nobody does or carries out a blood protocol those seasons will never come I'm telling you and it doesn't matter how genuine you are how well meaning you are there are some limitations in families that don't break by prayer because it was blood they used to seal it it's blood that's what I'm teaching you this is the highest covenant between heaven and earth. This is the blood and the body of the one who hung on a tree between heaven and earth and bled and died. Jesus, son of the living God. There is no covenant struck between what is divine and what is mortal that is higher than this. Except we don't activate it on our lives. See, let me shock you. When God finally blesses you, look at me, look at me. 
Don't be in a hurry to go home. When God finally blesses you, like he has promised to bless you, you will remember that I told you that um, you have been sitting on your blessing all the while. It's not making sense now. It looks like you have to travel somewhere. Some of you have the thought that until I travel out, I can't blow. Until somebody from US calls me and says, that's your song. I want it. If you don't, you, in your mind, if there's no international call, you're not going anywhere. It's not true. Some of you are already, the Lord told me this. Some of you are already sitting. But until you take a powerful covenant practice, you will not see what you were sitting on. Because some things are in this plane. But they do not, they are not visible because they are there. They are, they are visible because somebody somebody did something by blood when God finally blesses you look at me real good oh, look at me when God finally blesses you you will discover that you didn't need to meet more than three people in your life three people to be all God called you to be you will discover that there is somebody that knows somebody that knows one more person where all your prayers all your prayers the answer to all your prayer has been domicile you will discover that you didn't need you didn't need any any distant experience we are already sitting on our breakthrough but by the blood and the body of Jesus today in the name of Jesus we activate it Amen. put it down put it down one more, one more comment I must make if you did prayer drive with me, where are those who did prayer drive with me? Where are you? Raise your hand. Okay. If you did prayer drive with me, you know that Abuja is not an ordinary city. I was describing to you things that were not visible in the terrain, but were active in the spirit, superimposed, even on the main roads. Things that they... I will just tell them, park! There's something here. And we come down, begin to describe certain things in the spirit terrain that eyes cannot see but were visible. That's why you were shocked when Apostle Babs was talking about Tuleja and Abuja and the gate in between two mountains. Because I took you there. And when I put you on the bridge that shows the two mountains, we stop. And God said, this is where the gate of the city is. And there's no gate. There's only a bridge and two rocks. Because certain things are not clear until blood. The city has drunk blood. That's why you should not do business in the city without the blood of Jesus. That's all I'll tell you about Abuja. But I declare to you today that the lamb has been slain. I said the lamb has been slain. The lamb has been slain. Therefore, the city is taken. The nation is taken. This land will be kind to you. Look at me. Don't close your eyes. Stop this religious thing. Look at me. Come here. Don't stop it. I said this land will be kind to you. Because the blood has been shed. The lamp has been slain. Lift your, lift your, lift your token. I'm already prophesying. The lamp is slain. The blood is shed. The city is taken by your hand and the city is kind to you in the name of Jesus every city where you have destiny in the world where God has ordered that one day you will have dominion there I declare that because the lamb is slain that city is taken you know why we talk like that we don't talk about possessions here we talk about cities because we are kings we are territorial people God will begin to give some people here Abuja. Everything within your field that is in this town will be subject to you. It looks far fetched, ma. Is it far fetched? Because yeah. the lamb has been slain. Okay. Now, find a way to get the.
what would I do without your blood? <laughs> Woo! Feel the warmth of your love around. Look at what you've done already. Come on, sing it. Look what you've done already. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Look what you've done already. Sing it with me, sing. What would I do without your blood? Yeah. provision I can see it look what you've done Lord look what you've done look what you've done one more time what would I do without your blood Jesus is amplified over the life of everyone who partakes and the body of Jesus goes to work in the name of Jesus the blood and body is the combination for spiritual DNA whatever is not in the whatever DNA is not in the blood is in the body whatever is not in the body is in the blood you can't miss spiritual DNA with blood and body because the life of the flesh is in the blood Father, in the name of Jesus, as they take this, let the city bow. Amen. Let pain bow. Amen. Sickness bows. Amen. Let that well become visible. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead, take, take, the, take, the, take the bread. And while the bread is in your mouth, don't finish it. Take the body, take the blood on the bread. So tear it out. And don't don't eat it all yet. Ooh, yeah. Look what you've done. Done already. I'm going to sing that song three more times, rejoicing. Because now governance is talking. The things we couldn't see that were there all the while. We can see the things we couldn't take all the while we can take them our eyes are open are we ready have you learned the song 
Are we ready? Alaboko sabarabasha. Balabako de bishara. Balabako sabarabasha. Take it in Boko Shabarabako. Balabaka. Balabakosha. Let's take our offerings. All at once. No, don't give to church. Give into this realm. Today, give into that realm. The well was there the whole time. But it's not for everybody to see. Listen to me, listen to me. There, there's a pastor that God blessed. I know him personally. Mysterious wealth. One of the reasons why I didn't become his friend on time is because I I I was suspicious of his wealth, Mama. I was suspicious of him. This guy, within this space of time, 10 years in ministry, if you are not pushing drugs, you should not be as wealthy as this. Doesn't make sense. It didn't work in my mind. I didn't say it, but so I kept him at arm's length for a while. And what made me become his friend was a story he told where he was praying. I'm praying, praying. There was a certain day in the week he gave to prayer. You must, you must prioritize covenant things. It won't make sense. <clears throat> it won't make sense now. I was praying, 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 praying. The Holy Spirit said, Hey. Eh, that hotel where you used to hold your services every Sunday, I've decided to answer you. My answer to all this, your prayer, complain that your trousers has torn behind, inside. I complain there's no money. You don't know when money for the next service. You, you have a lot of complaints. I've decided to be merciful to you. That, the lobby of that hotel, go there. He was like, rationalize this thing. Lobby of today's night service day. What will I tell the receptionist? I'll just go there and be looking at them like I'm stupid. And I'm even knowing them. You don't go to the presence of people you are owing. I saw a joke online. Please teach me how to fry my fish without it doing shh. Because I'm owing my landlord. And if my fish makes noise, my landlord will remember <laughs> that I'm owing him. Is there a way to fry fish without it doing puss? He said, How can I go and present myself before the people who I'm owing? For, for services and sit down in the lobby. No, that's not smart. God said, You say you won't break through. Eh? The foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. So he took himself, went to the lobby, greeted him, Oh, Pastor, Pastor, you're welcome. And then he sat down and was behaving like he was taking phone calls just so that nobody comes to ask him questions. And he had spent 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour. He began to ask God, no. No, no. Was I hearing God or my poverty? What, what was talking that brought me here? God said, wait. I told you that's a technology for progress. Yeah. Okay, that's how we go forward. We don't go forward by trekking. We go by waiting. He said, God, it's one hour. God said, wait. It's one hour, 30 minutes. I say, wait. Two hours sitting down in the lobby of people he owes money. One Agbada guy walked into the hotel making calls, went straight to the counter as if to take the key to his room and looked at the recept at the side where the couches were and saw him. Said, oh, I've been looking for you. He said, looking for you. He said, I'm lodging this hotel. I passed away. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. How can you be looking for what is not lost? My service meets here every week. You are telling me you are looking for me. What do you mean by that? If you are even the one God sent to me, you came late. So if anybody was looking for anybody, it was me. Popping up politician. So follow me to my room. He's like, okay. Since I'm not doing anything, God, can I go? God said, go. If other the guy said, I've been looking for you. One day I was in this hotel. I sat in my room and I had certain problems. And I couldn't come into the service because I'm not even Christian. But I was hearing your voice from the conference center. And your message shook my life. Some instructions you gave, I took them in two weeks. I entered into such billions. I never tasted. Do I need to say anything more? When I heard that story, I repented of my little mindedness. Sometimes God will lead you to the well and say, Wait. 
So I want you to give into this dimension. Doesn't cost God anything to bless you. There's nothing that's in your mind that God should do for you. He has not done for somebody. So, if you have cash, give it to the Lord. If you paid anything in the week, you want to be blessed, please come. I don't know why I gave that testimony, but you will meet somebody. You will meet somebody important. Can you keep that in your mind? Is this simple enough? Okay. Keep it in your mind. Where it matters, God will take your matter there. Thank you, Lord. All I bless this. I activate the covenant. All the possibilities in the blood of Jesus on this destiny and route people. And I declare that from today, they find their wells. In the midst of this dryness, your well is clear to you. In the name of Jesus. Your portion in the covenant comes to you by the blood of Jesus. I speak to your health. Speak to your career. Speak to your prayer life. I speak to your ministry. And I declare that by the mystery of the blood, it goes to another level. In the name of Jesus. Where others say there is a casting down, you will declare that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and give. What would I, what would I, what would I do? What would I do without your Father, for this service, this prophetic and communion service, we go with the blood. We apply the blood on our lives. In the name of Jesus. Is anybody on Zoom? Check. Anybody out there? Put them on the screen. Mm-hmm. Precious touches. Listen. Lady, lift up your head. God is the lifter up of your head. Come, I want to speak over you. Just come. 
don't kneel, stand. The Lord said that the last disappointment you saw is the last you will ever see. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said you've been battling with your health and your mind for a while. That's what the Lord said. There's been emotional, physical battles. Can you relate to what I'm talking about? Look at me, man. The Lord said you've been struggling. You've been struggling. Struggling. Really struggling. But the Lord said today, that blood, blood and body you took has ended the struggle on your life. Yes. There are a series of attacks in your dreams you had a long time ago. And you've never been the same since then. You know what I'm talking about. And the Lord has reversed it. In the name of Jesus. Somebody actually saw that you will not do well. They saw. I don't know if it was to your face or in your absence, but I heard the voice. They saw and did like this. Against you. Lift your hands. I'll touch you and everything evil anybody ever did to you. It will go back sevenfold. Touch her now, Holy Spirit. Touch her. Let the fire of the Lord come on you. Turn you around. There's God is touching you. God is touching you. you can feel it. God is touching you. A new wind, a breath is entering into you. Supernatural life. And something's about to leave you now. Something's about to leave your body now. Command that thing to come out of you. That demonic tracker that they've used to manipulate you is removed by the blood of Jesus that has entered you. I put a new garment on you. A new glory upon you. I declare that from today you are a prince in your household. The war over your life is ended. Everything lost in destiny is restored. In the name of Jesus. It's done. See, look at me. you're going to have a series of dreams where God will be recovering. You'll be recovering things you lost. In the name of Jesus. And there is pandemonium in the camp of the enemy over you. You're releasing to destiny. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> now, every one of you of um, marriageable age, lift your hands. I want to pray over you. I'm coming on Zoom because I want to share a word there. The Lord said there's some of you who are actually sitting on your well, but you cannot see it. But blood entered you today. You're on your well. It's not... It's not going to travel and come. It's with you. But, uh, Lord, in the name of Jesus, prophesy over everyone who's due for that matrimonial blessing in this house. Those of you marked for the next wave, I ask that from this week, your well becomes clear to you. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have three people on Zoom. You know, uh, John, we have a prophets on Zoom. Amazing. Hallelujah. Udo Gold, I have a word from the Lord for you. The Lord is saying that the craft, the trade he has given you in your workmanship is going to get all the way to the USA. Get ready because God is connecting you beyond the shores. I know you're in Great Britain, 
the Lord is connecting you. I'm seeing the Lord doing some things that will, that would make you a blessing to people all the way in the USA. I'm seeing an open door actually for you in the States because you've been asking the Lord, Lord, what's it going to be from here? The Lord is saying you're on a springboard and that springboard will allow your wings to touch many nations. That's what I saw. I saw an eagle and its wings, the feathers of its wings was touching some nations. And the Lord said they will now begin to call for you and receive your gifts in distant lands in the name of Jesus. And your well is open. That prayer I prayed over everybody here is open for you as well. In the precious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's good to see you. This is a dear daughter all the way from the UK. There's people in church, actually. You're joined with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Joanne, we change your job in Jesus' name. To a more fulfilling one. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The Lord says now you'll have more than enough to give. More than enough to give. In the name of Jesus. That's the word of the Lord to you. And I speak to your prophetic gift. By the spirit of the living God. That those who must hear it and receive it. And the spheres of influence God has designed it to penetrate the momentum you need is released by today's communion. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Michelle, come. I said I was going to pray with you. This is the final one and we'll go. Put your hand in mind, Jesus. into the next level there's a wild wind around you I'm seeing it again carry her Lord that's what the Lord said I will carry you help her put her down just put her down carefully Lord said, I will carry you to heights and to depths you never thought possible. The Lord said, I will give you wings to fly. The Lord said, this is your moment and nothing can stop it. anointed a day of the week <clears throat> a particular day in the week when he will be giving you supernatural visitations that's what God just told me there's a, there's a day God has marked, I won't call it the day out but there's a particular day every week where God will be meeting with you he will meet with you personally, he will meet with you as a captain of industry he will meet with you in every sphere that you are represented and the Lord said, he has marked a day with you. And we ask that that day comes out of heaven. In the name of Jesus. And the scrolls are open. The books are open. Everybody, open your hands in front of you. Father, I ask that the books, the books of remembrance, the books of the wars of the Lord, the books of divine victory. The books. The books. The books. Over everyone whose hand is open in front of them. Open your hand like a book. Like two parts of a book. That today. The books are open. 
declare that from today you cannot be forgotten you are remembered for good everywhere you go because the books are open thank you Lord in Jesus precious name are we excited to have come to God's house this night can we give him praise Lord we bless you we bless you just wave those hands we honor you we honor you we honor you we honor you honor him honor him honor him honor him honor him we honor you thank you we honor you thank you thank you lord when you were glorified my heart is satisfied to know all praise and honor are yours and when all creation sing to the king of kings we know all praise and honor are yours they are yours are yours all praise and honor is yours Bless him. Praise and honor. Praise and honor. Are you? Give it back to you, God. Take all the glory, God. All praise and honor. announcements are month sunday um fresh fire service um, wednesday we're going to be back on the prophetic panel next wednesday and we're going to be dealing with certain prophetic things amen we took this break to pray take the communion take blood apply blood into the season and go home yes god says many of you will now begin to make discoveries so this thing this thing was this this thing works discoveries in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah god bless you did i leave anything out zoe oh my god aaron's wedding is on saturday no wonder i prayed for everybody who is of marriageable age Aaron's wedding is on saturday 10 a.m if you come late, you miss it. Because I would have been done with the joining before 10.30. So, the main, the main, you will miss it if you come late. So, please be at Aris wedding. Come gorgeously dressed. Royally dressed. It's our first wedding here. Sow the seed of your presence in the wedding. Amen anybody here for the first time anybody here anybody? This, this was a family meeting is it yeah. hallelujah <laughs> we're out of time would have i know it's your favorite song but, uh, who tolu is here for the first time <laughs> you get the message don't you <laughs> it's good <laughs> hallelujah we should have more prophetic and uh, communion services going forward. Yes. So it has.
has it has come into the register of the things we do in Jesus' name. Now you need to tell everybody who didn't come to the room today that they missed. You can only get a quarter of this experience over Zoom. Zoom cannot carry all of the glory of God. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They get, they get some of it, but <laughs> y'all don't, y'all don't get all of it. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Um, let's close the service. First lady, will you come and close the service? Can we celebrate her? Can we rise to our feet, please? Father, we thank you so much for such an appointed time. It was a moment of communion with you. And we did it not with our own token, but a token of your body and a token of your blood. We rejoice in this covenant because we know that there is no greater covenant than this. You didn't just die on the cross, but you left us your body and your blood. And we are grateful because we know that from now henceforth, we are victorious every second of every minute of every hour of every day in the name of Jesus. Like you opened the eye of Hagar as pastor showed us. Our eyes are opened and we begin to make dangerous discoveries. Discoveries that will make us do great exploits in your kingdom. Discoveries that will bring souls into your kingdom. And discoveries that will bring glory to your name. We go in this might and we go rejoicing in this testimony because it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Have a beautiful evening. I have an announcement. Any of you who was here, the first Saturday, Friday prayer meeting we had here, when I led you guys to pray about the overlapping uh, new, se- new n- overlapping new seasons. Um, those of you who were here, um, when we prayed about corn, wine, and oil, only those of you who were here, I need you to go and get oil and buy oil and see me privately. Those of you who were here, that meeting, the Lord said, I should give you oil. And I'll tell you what to do with it. <coughs> For the rest of you, when I call for meetings, eh, come. <laughs> it's important. Because I tried to say, Lord, everybody, Lord said, no, 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 no. Those who part- part- partook in it, yeah. if you want to go and collect from those who came yeah, on your own. But those of you who came here and we prayed that realm open, the Lord said, I should give you oil. So you, you buy oil, you bring it to me and say, you were in that service, and then I'll give you the remaining instructions.